Welcome to TVC News at 6. We are staying with the, with the 2023 budget signing by President Muhammad Buhari that took place earlier today in Abuja, where 21.8 trillion naira, along with the 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Bill, was signed into law. The aggregate expenditures of 21.83 trillion naira is an increase of 1.32 trillion naira over the in initial executive proposal for a total expenditure of 20.51 trillion naira. The president explained that the 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Act would enable his administration to respond to the havoc caused by the 2022 uh, floods in some parts of the country. They said the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning will subsequently provide more details of the approved budget and the supporting 2022 Finance Act. President Buhari adds that his decision to sign the 2023 Appropriation Bill into law as passed by the National Assembly is to enable its immediate implementation, considering the imminent transition process to another democratically elected government. The Finance Bill 2022 includes measures necessary for the effective implementation of the 2023 budget and the main and the attainment of the various set objectives. As you will recall, I laid the 2023 appropriation bill before the joint session of the National Assembly on the 7th of October 2022 and forwarded the 2022 finance bill thereafter. I believe the next administration will sustain the early presentation of the annual appropriation bill to the National Assembly to ensure its passage before the beginning of the fiscal year. <clears throat> I firmly believe the next administration will also sustain the current public financial management reform efforts, further improve the budgeting processes, and particularly maintain the tradition of supporting the appropriation bills with finance bills designed to facilitate yeah, implementation. Also in Abuja, the federal government has pledged to support the Republic of Burundi in diverse ways as necessary in the spirit of African solidarity and brotherliness. President Buhari uh, stated this while receiving the special envoy from Burundi at the presidential villa in Abuja, who came with a message from President Evariste Indiashimi, Indiashimiye, Honorable All Days, Niyon Zima, Minister of Finance, Budget and Economic Planning of Burundi, says his president sends goodwill for the new year to Nigerians and President Buhari and also wishes the country well in general election scheduled for February and March this year. The country also made a request in the area of energy provision, particularly fuel. President Buhari said he knows what it feels like for a country to suffer from energy shortage and promised that it would get the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to look into the request. The president also adds that he was looking forward to, uh, to the polls and retirement since he had satisfied the constitutionally required two terms to be in office. To Ramates, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Ashwaju Bolatinubu, is in Kano State ahead the party's mega rally. And as part of activities before the rally, the APC candidate paid a courtesy visit to the place of the, uh, to the palace of the Emir of Kano, Al Haji Aminu Addo Bayero, to seek his prayers and blessings ahead of the polls. Bolatinabu said the visit is out of his respect for the traditional institutions in Nigeria, while promising to work with the state to change Kano from a commercial city to a mega city if elected president. He also appreciated the Emir for his deliberate effort to sustain the existing peace in the state. Now a group of youths in Yobe State is drumming support for the APC flag bearer, Bola Tinubu, and the re-election of Governor May Malabuni. Speaking in Damagum community, leader of the initiative, Musa Damagum says his team is massively canvassing votes for the APC at all levels. Michael Oshoma reports. 
for Funi local government, uh, the numbers are very clear. 22,900. We are not going to get anything less than that. 22,900 votes. These are secured guaranteed votes for Tinibu Chetima and Mai Malabuni. The support for APC presidential candidate and the re-election of Governor Mai Malabuni is gaining serious momentum in the Yobe states. In Damagun community, this youth have assembled to strategize and sensitize the electorate on the need to get the PVCs to vote Bola Tunubu and Governor May Malabuni for a second term. The leader of the initiative, Musa Damagun, speaks more on what informed the gathering. Yobe state is predominantly an APC state, but uh, we have not uh, been able to harness, we haven't been able to harness uh, sufficient uh, votes to represent the number of APC supporters in the state. So this time around what we have decided to do is to break polling units into smaller groups, smaller cells. Some of the APC chieftains who graced the event say the initiative is timely. Your energy and your power is your PVC. Collect your PVC. Vote APC. Because we are presenting a genuine candidate a saleable candidate, a candidate that have shown examples. If you go to Lagos today, you know that yes, there is a footprint of Aswaju the Jagaban. If you go to Meduguri, there is a footprint of Kashu Shetima. We have been brainstorming how we can uh, bring more votes to His Excellency coming 2023 election from top to bottom, all, all APC. And this project that they are unveiling now shows how committed and technically uh, driven our youths are now and it's, a, it's not very big ambition uh, project, it's realistic. The youth of the Rufa Rufa initiative intend to garner large votes for the APC within their communities for the forthcoming elections. Michael Oshoma, TVC News, Damagun Yobe State. And the recent endorsement of the Labour Party presidential candidate by former President Olusha Gombasanjo seems not to be, uh, to be a source of worry for Nigeria's main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party. The party, in a statement signed by the Assistant Deputy Director, Media and Publicity, Campaign Council Management Committee, Delta State, Fred Ogenesibe, said Atiku Abubaka and his running mate, Infian Yokoa, will emerge winners of the presidential election despite the endorsement of Mr. Obi by the former president. Mr. Ogunesibe gave the assurance while speaking to newsmen at a campaign rally in Ogwashiuku, Delta North Senatorial District. He noted that Chief Obasanjo only exercised his constitutional rights of freedom of association entrenched in Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution as amended by supporting the presidential candidate of his choice. And as the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party lingers, the Chief Press Secretary to the Delta State Governor, Olisa Ifejika, in reaction to Governor Yesam Wike's statement of betrayal, says there is no disloyalty by his principal in supporting the PDP presidential candidate and accepting running mate position. Mr. Ifejika, who spoke to journalists in his office, said the resolution of the Southern Governors of the zoning of the presidency to the South does not in any way supersede the party's no zoning decision reached by leaders including the PDP Southern Governors, towards the pro conduct of the presidential primary. Our governor, Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoma, did not betray any agreement. No agreement to our knowledge was reached for us to come out and be part of this contest and win, particularly. We think we should open the space, and nobody objected to it. No governor of PDP objected to it. No senior member of PDP he raised any voice against it. We're asking, the question is, where were these governors? Where were these governors when the autumn committee presented this report? 